Hey, my legion, how y'all doing today? I want to do, uh, I want to review, and I also want to go back and say some things I didn't say on my uh, Family Dollar video, but the album Family Dollar video, be, but the Albion Family Dollar being a major fail. Uh, first of all, this is, uh, you saw the video, this, these are the chips I bought from there. And these are the Wise uh, Dough Pickle Chips, which I never had. The Dare to Dip Ridges, Ridges, uh, and these were a dollar. Dough Pickle Flavor. And uh, on the bag it says uh, Dare to Dip. And they said uh, Ridge Potato Chips. Enjoy the crisp, satisfying flavor of juicy pickle paired with fresh dill. Now there's a snack you won't forget. Can you dip a Flavored Ridges? Ridges. Why not? Go ahead and try... Uh, Different flavors, combos, dip away, open, open up a chair bag. Whatever you're doing, everyone will have more fun when you're bringing along a bag of Wise. And I love Wise potato chips. Like, I grew up with Wise. Uh, some places, they just have, like, the basic Wise. They don't have, like, the unusual flavors. I found a lot of these at Family Dollars. So I will say that. Uh, and this is made in Berwick, PA. So let's open these up and try them out. And then I want to expand upon my other video. Mm, smell really good. You definitely get the dope pickle smell. That's what one of the chips look like. These are okay. Um, you get dill pickle taste, but it doesn't. Some are more heavily seasoned. You really get a really strong dill pickle taste. It's a very uh, a mild dill pickle taste. I don't mind them. I think these are pretty decent. i probably give Wise the dill pickle Ridgies an 8 out of 10. Well... Make that seven and a half out of ten. They're still really good though, but it's not like it's very mild, not a, a very overpowering dill pickle flavor. I mean, if you like a milder, uh, flavored chip then you will really like these and for a dollar you can't go wrong so i give these a seven and a half out of ten now i want to go back to my uh my video about the albion family dollar now i will say if you want wise there's some other wise chips uh there and they they have some good deals there i think the gerard i was really disappointed going there because i got like really good stuff at the gerard Family Doll has some really good items, and they don't have the items that the Gerard one does. I don't know why. Uh, now, like I said, they over, they're they outpriced. And the weird thing is, uh, I truly, in my heart, I wish it would have been a Dollar Tree. Because someone else commented on my Family Dollar video saying that Dollar Tree, everything's a dollar, which would have been nice. I would have loved to have a Dollar Tree. Now, that place would have been packed. They said the Family Dollar said that they're getting uh, they're gonna go in business with Dollar Tree and they're gonna get more items, but I don't see anything. I don't see anything. I'm, I don't. And their marked up prices they're right in line with Walmart. If Walmart's not, I don't know. I I, I think Dollar General is still a better deal. Sadly, <laughs> I I was really excited about the Family Dollar coming in, and then you know it didn't happen. It just was. Uh, and when I talked to them, said they weren't that impressed. I mean, they might go in for like a couple odds and ends, and that's about it. I mean, when I had a 10% discount and a $10 off coupon, you know, I did I did do some shopping there, but that's about it. If I get some more co uh, coupons like that, then probably I will go back. But uh, if I can save some more money, but I'm, as of right now, there's a couple of Wise products and stuff, or if they have like a sale on, they have like a usual sale or something like that. Just like the toilet paper, uh, they have a four pack for 99 cents, 
Whereas at Dollar General, you can get a six pack for a dollar, and that's why I usually get my toilet paper. You know, I don't know. It's just Dollar General has better deals. But what I wanted, I really wanted the Dollar Tree to be down there. And um, it's really weird uh, the way uh, Albany has expanded and then drew back. Because, like I said, businesses in Albany don't do that well. In the mid '90s, uh, I'm trying to think of the main businesses we had there. Uh, we had a state store, out, and then it burnt down in a fire. So we got, uh, and that was back in the '80s. And there was a real nice restaurant I'd like to go to, burned down along with the state store. They both back to back. And then that was a sub shop, and then it became a country fair. And like I said, we had that one uh, gas station that was right across from uh, the Albion Diner, which is now Sunnyside Diner. And it was a, it was uh, originally as A A plus or A M P M, and then it was A plus, then it was Snoko, and then it went up in this in two thousand four, something like that. And a country fair brought that, bought that properly, so they couldn't make anything, put anything on there. And that's just weird. In the mid-90s, a whole bunch of businesses went out of business. Uh, and then we got some, aside, we got some major businesses. We had, uh, there was an h and block that's been there forever. And they they took down their old place and they made like a newer place. But then the newer place was kind of falling apart still. Uh, there's a market bank there. There's a CNB bank that is becoming Andover Bank. Uh Surefind there, that's a that's been there forever, but it was the IGA, then the Surefind. Uh the only and there was like a couple major businesses came and went. In the mid nineties there was a subway there, and everyone was excited, another major fast food chain. And then it the way it was running, it was running right into the ground. It only lasted like two years. It was a major flop because people were saying they could get a sub at Country Fair. And they didn't want to go there. When I went there on occasion, my but we didn't go there that much. I remember we had the breakfast sandwiches there, and it was so bad. I would never get a breakfast sandwich from Country Fair again. I mean, from Subway again. And now it's Subway so expensive. I don't know if I'll go there anymore. But I mean, that Subway was there for a little while, and then it, two years and went out of business. Right around the same time, a McDonald's opened up, and that's still there. Uh, it was doing gang bus for a while. Then, like I talked to that one guy, I said everyone goes there either complains about the way it's run or the kids there or people getting sick, you know. And uh, then the Dollar General opened up right in the, right in the mid '90s, and the, for the six, first six months, the Dollar General was packed, and then the traffic kind of tapered off, and it was at a different location, right? And they were still in that location. They were building a brand new Dollar General. And uh, they had like some promotion. You know, you get there like 8 in the morning. And you get, and you'd be in first in line, the first 100 in the door, you get a $10 off coupon and a bag of goodies. Uh, I didn't get that. I wasn't there quick enough. If I got a bag of goodies, like this big thing with a glass, pen, and a chip clip. The chip clip broke and then like a bag and stuff. That was kind of neat, but... That Dollar General is still doing good because of the prices are just better than the family dollar. You know, it's a shame. But like I wanted, I would have wanted a Dollar Tree. It's kind of weird. There's two family and dollar places in Albion, which the businesses don't do good in Albion. They really don't. That's probably why the bank didn't want them to expand in Albion. That, uh, oh crap, that video is not up yet. Well, you'll see it when you'll see that, uh, Grandma's Country Cooking video. You'll know what I'm talking about then. But, so there you have it. My review of the Ridges, Dill Pickle Chips, and my expansion on the uh, on the uh, Albion Family Dollars, a major fail video. So until next time, I think I said everything I needed to say now. So until next time, everybody, please take care of my legion. If there's some decent sales, you know, I don't know. I just wish they'd lower their, lower their if they lower their price, they get more people in there. But I really, like I said, that girl said a Dollar Tree, everything to Dollar. I agree. I wish it would, it would have been a Dollar Tree. That would have been much better. Right. Take care, everyone.